Good morning, everybody on YouTube. This is Rick Thomas from Obsolete Video Services. Uh, today, I'm going to do another posting on the Cartivision machine, and I was talking about some of the repairs on the one that I have that's working. Of course, you can see this is my working unit at the point where I got it. You know, the motors all spin. Got a brand new belt in there. I don't know if you guys can see it. This is your uh, your uh, um, video head scanner. Brand new uh, motor run capacitor. As you can see, we've got that all wired up. Uh, this machine here has all function functions. It all it work. Everything works. Just got to get the uh, play engaging uh, figured out and get the video head uh, tip alignment done and a couple other small things. But today I was going to tackle because I got uh, my special tool coming. I should have any time now. I was just sitting down. We're going to be crimping and replacing these ends. As you can see, these ends are really bad because the wires start to short out from being bent back and forth. These always go bad on these machines uh, where the uh, Molex um, connectors connect with the wires, which are these little pins right here, which you have to crimp, and then they slide into, into the new block that I'm going to be putting, which is going to replace that block. Um, you definitely need to know what you're doing when you're replacing uh, these pins. You got to follow them. You cut one at a time, get them to the same length, and you and you insert the new ones into the new block in the same position. You have to copy. Remember, whenever you rebuild something, do if you can like this, do one wire at a time. You always copy what was there because obviously I have no service manual to be able to re go reference back to and that type of thing. I don't want to make any mistakes. So you want to copy, and then you got to make sure you uh, you get the correct pins, and then you have to have a special crimper, which I should have in the mail in, in about an hour or so. So I'll be able to start working on this. I cut one wire to get an idea what the length is going to be, so I can bypass some of these wires and get it to a flat length, because these wires are too crimped, and I think several of them have some shorts in them. Don't want to be going through all that, so I want to make them fresh. Uh, head-on uh, wire uh, connections to the new block so I'm doing that but as you can see guys when you have a cartridge vision if you can't get it to this stage you're wasting your time because the machine is not gonna work it's this is this is a couple years with the restoration work on this thing gotta find more than one machine to do it and I've collected what six over the years and then on top of it the hardest thing in the world is getting a belt that's going to work on this sucker which is not an easy thing to do. And I had to put a new motor run capacitor and I fixed all the front parts with the new capstan roller, all that kind of stuff. This has been a long project. But anyways, guys, I thought today I'd sit down a little bit, maybe get these connectors done. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video.